Cafe Anyway. Welcome to Cafe Anyway somewhere in Podcast Rally. Hey. It's Mike's Daddy Podcast. The last place on earth in the land of Ameritopica. I'm Mike Matthews. I am going to tell you the number. Mike's Daily Podcast. Oh, that's it. 2,290. Wait. 2,924. 2,924. That's how many episodes I've done. Should I do some more? Maybe I should. I guess I'll see if I do. It's fun to talk to you, but the heat's been crazy and I don't know if I want to, but that's all right. We are going to try to do a little bit of a podcast here today. Mike's Daily Podcast. At Cafe Anyway, where it is all all air conditioners going full blast. You got to have air conditioning. Mike's no, you don't. Daily In the Bay Area, podcast. it becomes a question if you should have yeah. air conditioning or not. Because usually the weather is eh, not too hot. But every once in a while, you get this thing like that's happening right now. So we're breaking rules. Rules. We're breaking uh, records that we had. Maybe we're breaking rules, too. That would kind of podcast this is. We break rules all the time. But sometimes it gets really hot and you find out you've broken a record. And in this case, the record goes back to 2020. The last big time. Do you remember 2020? That was the last election year. That was COVID year. That was... What was that all about? That was crazy. We had not only the fact that we had to wear masks wherever we went, but then the fires happened and you could not breathe the air. It was awful in California. So much thick ash and smoke. And that's a lot of what happened earlier this year along places east of California and north and the, uh, the big swaths of fires that put out all kinds of smoke. And But it mostly blew away from us here in the Bay Area. Well, now we've got this incredible heat. Oh, and there was this one time it got so smoky that it changed the climate and it actually got a little bit cooler. And here's today's podcast picture. I remember that, but this picture is not from four years ago. This is from recently. And yours truly was at uh, actually a place that would probably be nice and cool right now. Heron Bay over there in San Leandro. Also had a picture of the empty San Leandro Marina recently. There's just a, a... Bizarre sight to see There used to be all these boats Everywhere in the marina Now they're all gone They've all been taken out And the harbor's been closed up by Not like cement But with this uh, barrier on the Like a rope barrier type thing That won't allow boats Back into the harbor But the late great Basil the Boxer And I used to go to Heron Bay all the time And cool off He'd jump in the water a little bit He did not like the beach beach But Heron Bay is Part of the bay In San Leandro The the bay that comes in Underneath the Golden Gate Bridge And then the bay Kind of splinters off to the north And goes in deep east Finally hits Sacramento And Stockton And it goes south down to Almost San Jose And it goes to a little bit of San Leandro Well it covers San Leandro And the only marina, the furthest south you can go, as far as marinas go, used to be San Leandro Marina. Now that's done. There's no more marinas the further south you go on the east side of the bay. On the west side of the bay, you still got places like Foster City, uh, San Bruno, I think. And down in that area, you can go. But it's interesting because you've got all this water in the bay that cools us off. And the, that's Basil with his words of, oh, I love running around the bay. He used to love doing that. But yeah, what? There was one Yahoo, Yahoo, some numb nut that was saying, hey, why don't we just fill in the bay? Because the real estate, price of real estate, so it's through the roof. They could make more money if they filled in the bay with concrete. Yeah. And then you're going to really see some. Changes in climate Wow That would make us so much hotter here And we're already getting hotter So I don't know The dumb idea Plus the bay is really pretty sometimes When the sun sets on it 
It smells funky sometimes, but I would not want to mess with it. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this, you can watch us on Facebook. I got a little video going. There's a link at mikesdailypodcast.com. That's fantastic. Matthewsman Park. It is an interesting. Panel will close automatically. Please remain seated at all times. An amusement park of information, a fun fashion. No, it's not a word. Okay, I was trying to do one of those words where you you put a bunch together. Well, our climate is if you, whether you believe in climate change or not, the climates have been really bizarre lately, or making the news anyway. Hurricane Helene, the estimate of the financial damage continues to rise. AccuWeather now puts the figure as high as $160 billion, and that is only second to Hurricane Katrina, which hit the Louisiana coast and New Orleans in August 2005. Biden and Kamala are trying so hard not to make this a Katrina. Because that was so awful for George W. Bush. And it may have led to his successor, who was trying to run, because you know his two terms were up, and then it was John McCain running against Obama, and McCain somehow inherited all the bad uh, troubles that had followed George W. Bush because they're both Republicans, and then of course there was the financial bailout and all that. Part of the some of what may have led to. Obama being in office But then there is the high estimate AccuWeather's estimates are almost always higher than others Because of the elements they consider They say it includes damage to property Job and wage losses Crops Infrastructure damage Interruption of the supply chain Which supposedly is going to be Extensive because of all the water So much water could have filled One of those big arenas Several times over I mean many many times over The amount of water that dumped Hurricane Helene Along with a preceding rainstorm Dumped an astonishing 40 trillion gallons of rain On the southeast United States This immense amount of water Is enough to fill the Dallas Cowboys Stadium 51,000 times Or Lake Tahoe just once As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth In the land of Ameritopica with all these interesting topicas Also could lead to Flight delays the, the money that was lost Because of flight delays The estimate also anyway. Here at Cafe anyway The estimate also We're outside now And it is still warm But we're trying to cool off With a, this nice breeze That's coming off from the bay The estimate also accounts For the cost of evacuations Relocations Emergency management And the extraordinary government expenses For cleanup operations Now all of this came from the people at Climate Crisis 247 I have not heard of them before But yes they're definitely going to be looking at all of this As oh We're all gonna go into the Mike's out of left field recordings Recording everything Captures actions that will never again be repeated We're all going to be going into that proverbial oblivion Anytime now The weather is getting worse and worse and worse Is what they'll probably tell you But That is also some of the uh, Information that we're getting From the people over at AccuWeather I'm just hoping it cools down a little bit Ooh yeah, these are the these are the headlines on climatecrisis247.com. Um, drought could drive up Starbucks coffee prices. 40 trillion gallons of storm rain hit America south. 40 trillion gallons? Wow. Why the heck do climate denying Trump lovers move into the path of hurricanes? These are the questions they ask on that website. Okay, on to other things. Why don't we look at some stuff that has to do with Halloween? And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program with Mike Matthews. Yes, that's what this show is. Okay, you know that there are some interesting things that people are doing to get their costumes this year. 
and to get decorations and makeup. They're using Uber. Uber is now delivering because they're just diversifying. Maybe that's why Uber is doing so well, but they are delivering costumes, makeup, and decorations directly from Spirit Halloween. They've got a partnership going on to your door if you want that. Or you could like not be lazy and just go and check it out. And I don't know. I was never impressed by Spirit. It's interesting what they do. They take over buildings that are pretty much closed up and abandoned the rest of the year. They used to do that here in Podcaster Valley. We have to win all the things. Oh, all the things. All the things. That's right. We are warriors. You are. We're all warriors here in Podcaster Valley. But yeah, we had this big, it's now the Castro Valley Marketplace. It was this big building, the Dal- the Daughtry building? Daughtry? Daughtry building? The Doherty building? Something like that. And it was empty for years and years. I think it was even decades. And it would only have people in it when it was just around Halloween, just around this time, starting in late August. Through October And they would sell stuff And it was all It all stunk Of that weird Rubber plastic stuff They use And you'd hear the Ha 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 Ah And other Halloween type (laughs) I woke up Rocky Rocky was sleeping out here He's Enjoying a little cool spot That has formed From some nice winds From the bay Oh Mr. President Are you suggesting President Biden's using cocaine? I don't know what he's using, but that was not, hey, he was higher than a kite. And, and by the way, it was the worst, it was the worst address I've ever seen, State of the Nation. I'll tell you, State of the Union, that's not State of the Union because he doesn't, he doesn't represent us properly. That I can tell you. All right. You just heard something that is only, it's a skill that only a few people on this planet have, thankfully. And one of them is one of the most powerful, most well-known people on this planet. Well, his successor, if you want to call him that, J.D. Vance, I don't think he quite has the hang of it. And we saw during the debate him being real nice, Tim Walsh being real nice, and the two of them just being real nice to each other. Of course, there were some serious moments with... (laughs) With uh, the uh, whole thing about Hey Your guy J.D. Vance Your guy He still does not believe the election Was real That it was uh, It was fake And that it was fake news And that he won What do you think about that? And then J.D. Vance said something about Oh The Fascinating Material Project FM Project It was a fascinating bit of material what did he say? Something about how Kamala was lying, was doing, was messing with the facts about what the shot, the when you got the COVID shot, like how it, it, that she knew that it was harmful and she lied to the American people, that kind of thing. So, and that was that thing where Tim Wall said something like, wow, that is crazy. That's outlandish. That was the... You know what? I got to pause the podcast and find out what it was that he said. Hold on. Later that day. He said, it's a damning non-answer. That's what it is. I could not remember that. That is a damning non-answer. He said, yeah, because Vance said, Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? Ah. Now, I had to have that explained to me because that sentence in and of itself made no sense when he said it. And a it, fine article. Call, 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 call. call. City Crane, that article. article. That's a fine article. And I got this from USA Today summing it up and saying CBS monitors, moderators rather, Nora O'Donnell and Margaret Brennan did not intervene in the discussion as CBS agreed to not fact check. The candidates Although I think Nora and Margaret Were a little bit They were swimming in the beautiful blue eyes Of J.D. Vance And his Country singer good looks Doesn't he look a little like he should be a country singer? Like he should Have his own YouTube channel Of his music videos 
playing nonstop all the time on your favorite country station. So I'm tr- I'm trying to think. It's def- definitely like a '90s country singer is what I'm thinking. So yeah, that was at the end of the debate, the damning non-answer thing. Fascinating. Where were we? Oh. Yeah, there was a bunch of stuff about that debate that really not a whole bunch of people watch, but it did make JD Vance look better. If I was saying to myself, if I, if he would be more like that and less of the hating on cat women and men, and uh, the, the whole thing about we the love Haitians, you, Mike. yes, the Haitians in Ohio, or whatever. Yeah, if it was less of that and a little more of of the nice JD Vance that was smooth, good talker, very kind, ah, saying things to Tim and like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that your daughter witnessed a, a shooting at her school, that kind of thing. All right, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> and they were really nice to each other. Somebody did a funny uh, a jump cut of a bunch of their nice being their nice niceties back and forth. And then started playing Elton John's Can You Feel the Love Tonight from Lion King. So Microsoft has overhauled its co-pilot AI assistant adding voice and vision capabilities to make it more personalized. I use Bing, which uses co-pilot, and I have not seen this yet. And co-pilot gets annoying because there are sometimes I do not want to hear all this AI explanation it's not mansplaining, it's AI splaining to me, and I don't need it sometimes. I just want the the the, 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 the URL, the website address. That's all I need. The web address. LVMH, the largest champagne producer in the world, bought a company that makes non-alcoholic sparkling wine to capitalize on the boozeless trend. And it came out recently about how alcohol ca- causes cancer. But as Joe Jackson says, everything, everything gives you cancer. Kombucha. Probably even kombucha. There's no cure. There's no answer. Everything brings, gives you cancer. And he did that song back in the early 80s. So it's only gotten worse since then. But at least we're finding out more and more things to, to, to specify, to zero in on all the bad things that might give you cancer. Tom Brady is putting his watch collection valued as as much as six million dollars up for auction at Sotheby's, and all that from Rob Black. I produce his podcast. He's heard on AM twelve twenty KDOW weekday mornings and on Cron TV Monday through Thursday in the nine o'clock hour. He also says Tesla missed estimates on del- estimates on deliveries. They did not magnify. By their deliveries They posted their vehicle production And deliveries report Total deliveries in this third quarter Which we just wrapped up for this year You will travel into the incredible universe The incredible universe of Those wonderful Tesla cars That I see all over the Bay Area Especially when I do my commute From Podcaster Valley to Fremont Competition from China Companies like BYD Is it Geely? Gilly What? Gilly Sorry Lee Audio and Neo In the US Rivian, Ford and General Motors Are selling more electric vehicles Than Tesla Fascinating Their brand has been under pressure Due in part to the antics Of CEO Elon Musk He's endorsing Donald Trump He has shared What the White House called racist hate And false claims about immigrants And he's talked about election fraud All that on X He's taken people off of X That he doesn't like And Cutting corners Corner Corner The Cutting Corners Corner Here's a great way to cut corners on Not buying an air conditioner for your house And you just want to cool yourself down Take a spray bottle Fill it full of water Put it in your fridge And just spray the top of your bald head Oh you gotta be bald first And that instantly cools you down quite a bit Also keep packs of ice Like you would put in your cooler The kind that's, uh, that's not really 
water It's some weird chemical thing Keep that in your A bunch of those In your freezer And then you just pull those out And put them all over your body It's amazing It magnifies, magnifies the coolness So Tesla will host a marketing event October 10th It's expected to show off the design of Dedicated Robo Taxis Waymo and Pony AI have begun Robo Taxi services So they want to get in on that But speaking of X It is worth 80% less than when Elon bought it And two years ago Was when he bought it Shelled out $44 billion to take it private Hey kids It's me Do-Re-Me the Clown Thank you Do-Re-Me the Clown That was back in October of 2022 So he's lost about $9 billion Shrinking ad revenue Is happening at the company It had 73.5 million monthly active users In August But that was a drop of nearly 11% Year over year And a 20% decline From when he bought it 20% Of the users that when he bought it Have left Advertisers have expressed concerns about extreme content They don't want their brands linked to 26% of marketers Plan to decrease their spending That's a ginormous amount 26% of marketers Plan to decrease their spending On X next year Yikes Less money Steepest pullback From any major global ad platform Musk has embraced an Anti-Semitic conspiracy theory Favored by white supremacists But he later apologized For his Dumbest ever Social media posting He has also told fleeing advertisers To go bleep yourself And all of that from Rob Black So there you go We're outside a cafe anyway look who's here Oh my god this is John QR Gift shop supervisor I don't want to offend anybody But I'm selling snow clumps Wonderful snow globes Everybody needs them I could use some snow globes If they're full of snow To cool me off It's been hot Mike Matthews That's so funny Using snow globes To cool you off That would mean That they would melt On your face Mike Matthews They would They would melt Snow globes Look who else is here Oh Mike This is Floyd the floor man And this is John Deere The engineer Mike it's so great To talk to you About all of these things That you're talking about What are we talking about? I guess uh, Elon Musk and all of the stuff that he's been going through, as well as the, oh, the spooky demand. People getting stuff delivered to them for, for the Halloween season. And that means you guys need to help me decorate Cafe Anyway for Halloween. Make it all look all spooky and use that fake weird web stuff. What is in that anyway? That's the, it's probably not good for you. It's probably about as bad as the alcohol I was mentioning earlier And all of that So happy October everybody And yes We're going to end the show But you can call this number if you'd like to chime in About anything we covered today Call Mike At the Cafe Anyway Hotline Area code 510 It's good to get feedback Even if it's negative I watched that Will Ferrell Movie that documentary Will and Harper About his friend Who transitioned Is no longer a man But is now a woman And they go on a road trip They go Route 66 They go through the heart of America And what one interesting thing That my lovely lady friend pointed out Was that All the negative comments they got Was online it's trolls. They d- trolls. I love the trolls. They live in the fjords because I'm a Viking. But they had all those negative comments are just people typing on their computer or on their phone, and they're just doing a little, you know, oh, uh, she looks like a guy still or whatever. Even worse than that, calling Will Ferrell a pedophile and all this. And it, the guy, uh, who, I'm sorry, the woman Harper, see. It's tough. It's tough for us to see that and, and, and flip that in your head. I know from experience, I worked with someone who did transition years ago. This is before it really got into the national dialogue. But 
uh, I was having lunch with her. And at one point I was talking about her in the third person and I used the word he did the mispronoun thing and I was so embarrassed. But we just kept going. And what was interesting, what Harper said to Will, because he had the same issue. Will made the same mistakes. He's uh, Harper was saying, you know, you just, I just, that's just part of the thing. There's going to be mis pronoun misgendering and all that but it was a fascinating movie there was a, a lot of places they went to along route 66 are the places that many of the youtube channels that i watch like rv or tv and through through the lens through my lens something like that and a couple other youtube channels that do traveling i i love to watch and see people go to those places because i probably won't go for sure during the summer when it's so freaking hot, but they, they, they meet all these people. Now the people, what my point is they'll say mean things online, but face to face, they were all really nice to Harper. And of course they're blown away. Oh my gosh, here's Will Ferrell. Oh, oh, this is, and Will Ferrell's always introducing them to Harper and seeing what they do when they meet Harper. So it's an interesting documentary. If you're a big fan of Saturday Night Live, especially the 90s Saturday Night Live, you'll see everybody that you saw on the show back then. Molly Shannon, uh, 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 Tim Meadows even, and the one t- 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 uh, Tina Fey. There we go. Even, is it Colin jo- Joss? Joss, the newest guy that's the, one of the news guys that's married to Scarlett Johansson. He's on it. So, yes, it's a, it's a, it's okay, you know, it's a bit long. Oh, one of the things you find out is Harper bought a house in the middle of nowhere, like in the Mojave Desert, in this town that's falling apart, like there's hardly anybody there. The infrastructure's just decimated. And he bought a house out there because, oh, back when he was a he, because he he wanted to walk around the house and and be just be a woman before he completely transitioned over to be a woman full time and that was an interesting discussion with Will Farrell about that it turns out the house he basically or now she abandoned the house and it's fallen apart and it's got graffiti and people have broken into it and it's just a bad memory for Harper looking back on it all so that was very interesting. And Kristen Wiig wrote a really cool song for the movie. One last thing. It's interesting in the world in which I live, in the world of radio, and you have so many interesting, we'll call them egos. Because to do this kind of thing, to talk and to throw your ideas out there and to cover interesting topics... And be interesting to the listener. Uh, you have to have a certain amount of confidence. S- and say to yourself, I can do a show. I can make a show happen. I can talk. People won't like me. People will love me. You don't know. I don't know. We all have insecurities. Something you learn watching the movie with uh, Will and Harper. But it's amazing some of the egos that I've met that have absolutely no self-doubt whatsoever it's just all no i'm awesome i'm absolutely great you have feedback Uh, i don't want to hear it but some of these people with ego have no room for mistakes at all and they say some pretty ridiculous things that if they actually did have any kind of self-introspection they might go wow i'm a bit of a bad word there I am not acting like an actual human being. Like I think J.D. Vance and Tim Waltz, they they get it. Overall, deep down, they get about how to be a nice human being. But some of the egos that I've met in the world of show business, you go, wow, you just said that to me because of a little mistake? And, and I've done all this good work for you in the past and you've just thrown it all away and said a ridiculous thing. So you have to have a very thick skin. And to find out more about Mike's Daily Podcast, you have to go to the mainframe and hear from A-Frame. Thank you for listening. Mike's Daily Podcast.
Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.